I just wake up, my mind's ready to go at, at five in the morning and I don't stop until it's close to midnight. Every day is exciting for me, every day is new, and it's my chance to help someone. A curious person is a caring person, and we as scientists, we do all these things because we care. We want to make a difference, and we want to use all our training and skill sets to help people, and that's really the driving force behind it. Diabetes is arguably the worst health issue affecting the U.S. population and for that matter worldwide. In the U.S., for example, one of every four health care dollars is spent directly on diabetes management or complications of diabetes. It's been estimated that uh, with the, if the current trends continue, one in three or three in four Americans would be affected by diabetes. I think it's the pinnacle of achievement to be able to deliver a medicine that can treat tens of millions of people and really change their lives. I'm Thomas Butler, CEO and Chairman of Biomia Fusion. The company really started as a research project. It wasn't a company. It was just a few really researchers, entrepreneurs that really wanted to figure out how to develop and design a drug against a target called Menin. It is fantastic to work in Biomia. It is a startup company as such, we are focused on delivering the objectives. We have good science. We also have good people. And then on top of this, we have good leadership. All these combinations are wonderful factors to ensure that the company will be successful. What we know about Menin is largely due to its role in oncology, but a somewhat lesser known role for Menin is its uh, role in diabetes. And so what we do understand about Menin and diabetes is that Menin acts as a sort of breaks on beta cell proliferation. If you ratchet down Menin function, in turn you increase beta cell numbers and beta cell function. And that increases insulin levels, controls high glucose levels, and potentially could actually revert diabetes and keep it under control such that uh, no longer would you have to take other medications. So BMF219 is, is a very interesting molecule. I've actually quite not been exposed to one like it before. The 3D virtual reality is a very important tool in our drug design process. We're actually in a position where we can create a room where we can build the protein and we can build the protein at the size of our own body and essentially step into the binding site where the molecule will bind to this protein and explore all small details in this binding site to make an optimal molecule that fits perfectly into the binding site. BMF 219 uh, actually engages menin. Uh, it forms a so-called covalent bond with a particular amino acid within the menin protein. And once it engages that amino acid, it's there, it's bound irreversibly. If you can stop a protein covalently, you need very little drug. You just, the drug comes on, hits the protein, stops it, that's it. And the rest washes out. So with regular drugs, you have to push, push, push against the, the strength of the protein to stop it. A addressing it covalently is very elegant. Honestly, I'm very uh, impressed uh, and uh, by the, the, the vision uh, and also audacity of the Biomia uh, team to decide to tap this uh, huge potential to have a huge impact on improving diabetes treatment with a completely new mechanism of action. 219 in the preclinical studies that uh, Biomia has performed has an extremely uh, clean safety profile. Specifically, there were no safety issues, no toxicities whatsoever observed. We'll be presenting our preclinical data on two animal models, two uh, diabetic models of RAT, a ZDF, and an SDZ-induced model. And in both of these models, we see that treatment with 219 results in a very efficient control of blood glucose. Not only that, we also see that a short-term treatment following by pause or washout period results still in a longer lasting effect of 219 in controlling that uh, glycemia. What we saw of a daily treatment of two weeks, BMF 219 was able to provide glycemic control 
was able to control the dyslipidemia, which is high cholesterol, and was able to reduce the body weight in these animals, which is very remarkable. And I believe that this should be able to translate to humans as well, providing a good glycemic control over a long period of time with durability in response. In short, it's a truly exciting and it's a game changer in my mind. I'm very excited to look at these data and as a scientist working in the beta cell field, these data are um, important for us to think about and consider as we try to find much more effective therapies. Currently, our plan is to do the phase 1b trial in diabetes, type 2 diabetes patients where they can receive BMF 2 and 9 just for a period of 4 to 6 weeks and then we'll observe those patients for subsequent 26 weeks. Just with a short-term duration treatment, patients should be able to control their diabetes, their blood sugar, and as well as all those complications related with the long-term diabetes. The strategy of Biomea is flawless. It's irrefutable. And the fact of the matter is, if it works, I mean, let, let's be honest, it's nothing short of brilliant. And the world needs these kinds of drugs for perhaps obvious reasons. So it really comes down to the, the effectiveness of the drug. If BMF 219 does what it appears to be able to do, then this is absolutely spectacular. Really the mission for the company is we aim to cure. We're creating these molecules because we're going for a cure, a functional cure, a curative therapy for these patients. It's such an amazing opportunity to be able to have a, a therapy that could really change their lives forever.